Greetings and welcome back everyone to the town of Medusa's Raft in Rimworld where we have just finished a ground penetrating scanner. It allows you to build ground penetrating scanners that can detect drillable resources deep under the surface. So with that, uh, I think we've pretty much done everything in order to get more plasteel, which is the main thing that we're going to be wanting to work on. But before we get there, where is Geotherm? Uh, let's have a look through here. No, 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 no. Uh, have I already researched geothermal production? No, there we are. Geothermal power. That's the next thing we really, really do quite desperately require. Now, let's have a look at all of these things. The ground penetrating scanner. It's actually not that particularly expensive. Uh, okay, well, we can build one of these. I'm not sure how these work. I've never tried them. I guess I could build it. More or less whatever I want. I could build one here, perhaps. Uh, and then would that tell me where... Uh, let's actually have a look. A downward-facing penetrating radar combined with sonar and magnetic images allows you to detect but not identify minerals buried deep under the surface. Requires a huge amount of electricity. Ah, okay. Well, that's uh, worth waiting on then, perhaps. Uh, production, do we have the deep drill? A deep crust drilling rig for extracting minerals from deep under the surface. Use a ground penetration scanner to detect the resource. And how big is that? That's actually... Uh, oh, okay. That's actually not that large of an area that it uh, works on. Okay. Well, it's worth knowing. Worth knowing, certainly. Uh, let's have a look at this. We've currently got plenty of herbal meds. In general, we're doing fairly well, I would say. We've got a lot of visitors right now in fact so many that i think it's important for us to further expand so how about we go ahead and start building out a little bit uh let's have a look about here let's say um actually let's have a think of this we could even Expand this room out and have even more area for saleable goods. And that does interest me. So, for example, if we reinstalled this over here, this becomes more of like a shopping aisle at that point. Uh, and that would actually work toward the, my benefit. This is the sort of thing that I would like. Sure, okay. Let's go ahead. We'll, we will keep with wood for this. And we'll build that there, and then this one over there. So that'll give us a, a full room. So we basically need one, two, three, four. Okay, yep, yeah, that's not going to be a problem. So we'll have a freezer there, an extra space, another freezer, an extra space. And this will be a single large room in here at, at that point. Um, that's fine there. Um, we are going to want to expand this out a little further, though, that being said, uh, because ultimately we are going to want to... Um, oh, we're going to need the wall over there as well, so we'd have a wall here. We could then have just some extra bunks along here. That doesn't per make a perfect um, area, though. Perhaps over here we'll actually have this area leading out in this direction. We'll have more bunks over there. That would actually work in two ways. The first thing that it'll do is it will make lots of room. The second thing it'll do is it'll mean that the deepest part in our mountain area is the guest room. So when there are bug hives, they'll be in the guest room, not in a passageway. That is really hard to defend. I mean, I know that's horrible, but yeah. Uh, okay, the trade caravan is leaving. That's fine. Our visitors are still chilling out and enjoying themselves, I'm hoping. Uh, we should get a television in here, I'm thinking, though, maybe. Something along those lines. Let's see. If I pop a TV there... Um... Or perhaps something around there instead. Because, I, I mean, as... I can only speak for myself, but I really can't get on with the, the television when I'm trying to sleep. I'm not one of these people who can watch the TV. Um, but what I could do is I could make a, a bigger common room over there. In fact, I can move this table out. So uh, This could, in fact, be turned into a common room. And I could just have a vast bunk area. Hmm. I'm liking this idea. I'm liking it a lot. There are lots of things that I can do. 
And currently we are building up the next hospital room, which is grand. Let's continue with that, please. In fact, let's uh, add storage for chunks again. Oh, it's still storing chunks. This is good. Uh, have we finished the new plant pot that I've ordered to be made? Not yet. Are we out of plasteel? Not yet. Okay, well, that's good to see. Uh, need warm clothes. Yes, I know. The outdoor temperature is going to reach minus one. Ooh. Dark Havoc, what are you wearing right now? You're kind of not wearing nearly enough. No. Okay. Uh, let's make the warm clothes a bit higher then on this priority. So we'll make the parka and the thermal pants much higher. There we go. All the way up. And the parkas as well. Though, unfortunately, it looks like the parka. We've already got them. They're just not being worn. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Well, I have to see about that, but uh, I am a little bit concerned about that one, I'll be honest. Wool cloth. Okay, so, one of the things we can do in this area now is we can put down some lovely carpeting. Um, uh, I don't know what would look best with the with this room, but perhaps a, a purple carpet or maybe even a blue carpet no 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 uh, we're gonna go with the old the good old red carpet i think um a nice big old red rug just there in this room right okay let's have a look at this they are leaving they're amazed they'll be back in a few days left smoke leaves uh, smoke leaf leaves uh herbal medicine insect meat smoke leaf joints and berries okay well that's very nice of you she really liked this day there we go. Nice old big rug. I wish we could have actually round rugs. Oh, that would look so good. That would look absolutely wonderful in so many ways. In fact, to try and give this a little bit of extra feel to it, we'll do this. There we go. Just give a little bit of extra shape to this area. Oh, we have not got a door. That's unfortunate. How long has that been the case? I haven't noticed it. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to wood doors for now. There you go. Oh, damn it. The van actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I like that. In fact, you know what? That that looks fairly good if I do this. I think that'll look very good. That gives, that, it makes it look like a square rug now, but an actual intentional square rug, rather than just blah, just color on the floor. Uh, okay, so this has all been done. Very, very nicely done. Now, let's just make sure that we've got uh, these settings pasted across to all of these. Make sure that everything is the same. There we are. And there we go. We're also going to remove this zone because they're clearly not buying this stuff. They don't buy it, which is a shame. But perhaps I'll be able to sell it to uh, certain like exotic goods traders, that sort of thing. There we are. I also need to dig out this little area there because we are going to need some walls. Straight across there. Um, probably gonna have the exit to the um, large bunk area, probably somewhere up here actually. Um, if I were to put it there, sure that could work. Uh, sure, yeah, we'll we'll take this away and we'll have a three wide area there. That'll work, I think. Do that as well. So this will be the exit into the actual bunk area. And for this, we're going to want this very deep. So that's um, one set of beds. This is the next set of beds. That would be a wall if I wanted to do it like that. Um, and I can. Another set of beds, space, another set of beds, a wall. There we go. That is going to be a humongous area. Uh, and to that end, I need to avoid collapsing the roof. Because that, you know, obviously would be kind of bad. Uh, so we'll cancel this out. And then we'll replace it with actual walls later on. And that should be good. Uh, Turkey 2 is broken down and is wandering around confused. Like, why is this not being built? Uh, Miss Minnie, could you prioritize this for me? Oh. Do we not have the marble bricks needed? That is quite ungood. Uh, Dark Albert, could you work on this for me? 
since you're actually pretty good. Wow, 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 wow. What happened there? Did you guys just get beaten up? Could you rescue them? Uh, can, can anyone rescue them? What on earth went on there? I have no idea, but they should recover, I'm going to guess. I mean, I, I, I desperately would like you to... No, don't arrest them. Damn it, I want someone to to help them. Well, how are I? Oh, well. There's not a lot I can do about it right now. They've decided that they want to be all knocked out, then that's what's going to be the case. Not that one really decides I want to be knocked out, but you know how it goes. Uh, right, let's reinstall this over there. This is going to mess things up a little bit in here, but... We're going to want power running around this room rather than uh, up across it like that. So we're going to want to get that all dug out. There we go. And yeah, they've left. They were fairly happy with that. We've struck compacted steel. Oh, okay. Not too bad. All things told. Who's cold moment? Lisa, Nebula, Bomb, and McFly. But they're the only ones who are cold. Right, so... Dark out, what did you put on in the end? Um, Muffalo wool gardening vest, human leather military fatigues. Maybe I should really prioritize making things out of muffalo wool. Human leather just doesn't seem to keep people warm. Which makes me very sad, honestly, but... Oh God. What a lot that one can do. Let's get that out. Get all of these moved, please. Major break risk, Veronicorn. Let's have a look at you. Eight, you ate kibble? Are people not gathering food? Um... Well, that is horrific. Totally not been paying attention to that, my lord. Well, that's entirely my fault. Okay, let's get the berries gathered then from outside, wherever we can. I can completely understand why they're a little bit uh, perturbed from that then. And let's get all of this sorted, and down there as well. All right, we're going to have to go out and hunt down some animals then. Unfortunately, this entire herd needs to die. All right, okay, well given that then, Sleepy Joe, you're drafted. Um, do you drop? Drafted. Nebula Bomb. Drafted. Balthazar. No. Um, Miss Mini. Drafted. Go, 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 go. We need to kill a lot of animals. That is super unfortunate. I had no idea that, that was going on. Huh. I mean, there's lots of people that we can kill, but that is not exactly what we want. Alright, start killing all of the wildlife. All of the wildlife must be dead. Also, Larry, no. Larry, go home. Go home, Larry. No, no, no. There we go. None of these things need to be happening. Thank you. You hit Larry, didn't you? You wretch. Larry will not forget this. Only Larry will forget it. Because Larry loves you. You betrayer. Okay, let's uh, take you out as well. Both of those are now available. I'm afraid we have to just kill so much stuff right now. I love how they were able to sleep with all of that gunfire going on earlier. But then can't sleep for a little while just because I'm shooting one of their own. Very sure that's not quite how it works. Uh, let's move over there. Thank you. Get a little bit closer to your targets. Well done. And all the way down there. Thank you. Good. And just wipe them out. All of them. You're so bad. Oh my lord. This is why I don't send you out on just hunting missions. Because you would take so long to kill anything. That they would eventually go crazy and kill you first. Down, down please. Now part of it is that we had a volcanic winter. And, and we still are in volcanic winter actually. So... Our plants aren't growing as well as they usually do. Still, it's a bit rough. 
All of our plants outside have stopped growing, in fact, because it'll be outside of ideal temperature. Uh, okay. That is a pain. I can resolve it, but it would mean losing access to this power generation. Which isn't good. Not at all. I think we'll just try and get through the the fallout, honestly. The uh, volcanic winter by hunting. We've got enough things to hunt that it shouldn't be a huge issue. There we go. And none of you are drafted anymore. Please haul these animals back. There you go. You can't. But there is plenty of animals out there now to go and haul. We've got enough wildlife on this map that we should never be in a point where we don't have food. It's just a, a matter of me noticing that we're in that position, really. Uh, there we go. This should help out an awful lot. But it won't, it won't help fast enough, unfortunately. A couple of people will have to eat um, food that they're just going to be very unhappy to have eaten. And uh, that does suck. How are we doing on fuel? Actually, we're going to shut these down for now. Don't need them active. And there we go. Geothermal. Fantastic. Okay, well, now that we've got geotherms, and now that we're actually hitting some problems, we're going to go for these. So, super soil first and foremost, because when we get things back up, we can actually start growing faster. Grow things faster with this mycelium network prototype, which adds some nutrients to the soil. Um, yeah, we should be able to get it. We are at the right sort of... Le well, actually, no, cost modifier is 200%, so it's going to take us a little while to get there. Still, I don't mind. And Balthus are throwing a party. We just killed so many animals party. Everyone should attend. Except those who are going out there to harvest, which is fine. Uh, major break risk, yeah, I know. It's going to be rough for a little while, but we have got a lot of food out there, so if someone will just go and haul it, we'll be okay. So there we are. Pe oh, no, people are going and eating raw meat. Worst thing ever. We have, we're getting some meals now. It's at least slightly better than, than nothing, but only by a small amount. We go. We're going through a lot of the meat just straight up. Now, probably some people have eaten um, insect meat as well, because we got given some as a gift. Uh, rough times are these. Rough times are these. Need warm clothes? Yeah, I know. It's a bit of a rough time. Now, the reason, if you're wondering, why weren't you paying attention? Why, why weren't you at least checking your plants? Because I got so used to not having to worry about my plants at any time of the year because of this area that I just tuned out completely. I should have gotten keyed in. What? They get 70? They... T really? So 70 wood becomes 70 chem fuel? That is ridiculously good. Then yeah, those chem fuel generators are just the future. At this point, don't... Well, I'll keep it. We'll keep it just in case at some point we're in a horrible bind. We just need that power absolutely right away now. In which case, that does make a lot of sense. But uh, for the time being, we'll just allow people to gather things, bring them back, make food, and it'll be glorious. There we are, getting all the food made and stored. Good times are these. Would someone please haul these out? There we go. Oh, okay, yeah, you can haul them over there, that's fine. Uh, cargo pods, please, that'll be full of food. Yes! Our best thing ever. I approve. Okay, well, how are these uh, prosthetic arms going? Uh, we've already made one. That's actually pretty good. Uh, where is it stored? Right there, there probably, yeah. Uh, to make this, these ones, we are going to need a lot more plastic, unfortunately, because uh, we've already started work on... Amberlina is making a plastic plant pot for this room. On the plus side, we've got everything done. This is an excellent bed. Let's have a look at you. It's exactly the same, more or less. This is only a good... Um, oh, actually, sorry, a normal nightstand. But that's fine. Uh, that's not a problem at all. Doc Avic has gotten food poisoning from eating something. Uh, that is a bit of a shame. Uh, where's this plant pot? It is a normal plant pot, but let's have a look at it. On this sculpture is a portrayal of four cutlasses. The work is shaded in hues of white and red. A personified depiction of sadness stands to the right of the main scene. Uh, a little, little bit... 
too sad perhaps for in here, but we're going to go with it anyway. Okay. Uh, also, this should be reduced to 20 degrees. There we go. Um, maybe, maybe they'll be they'll they'll reflect on 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 war. It's like ah, this this is why I'm here. I'm here because of war. Also, because that is in hues of white and red, we're going to plant a rose in it instead because that'll maintain the theme that it's got going. Uh, as for this room, though, let's go ahead. How much human leather have we got? We need to know. Human leather, leather of the humans. 178. That means one chair. That's fine. We're going to need more of them. So uh, one there and one in the rubber there as well. So we just need a few more, a few more people's slaughtered, please. Uh, in fact, I think one more people slaughtered is all we need. And let's get that done as soon as possible, please. Because uh, we don't really want to do too much with this, because otherwise people will get very sad. How much leather is that? It's 28. That's enough, I believe. So we'll uh, pop that back onto suspended. That should bring us up to the correct amount. Uh, there we are. So one of them is being built. This one, yeah, that'll be fine. It's a good human leather armchair. An excellent one and a good one. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully it will be equally amazing. It is... A poor human leather... No, we're not going to accept a poor human leather armchair. Shenanigans, I call on that. Shenanigans. There we go. We will make sure that all of this is under a roof, obviously. Uh, right, well, we're going to have to start that again. So, unfortunately... Or not really, unfortunately, I suppose. Uh, we're going to need at least one more person cut up. Sorry, everyone who's about to be made to feel really bad about this. But, damn it, we need good furniture. It is important. There we go. Let's hope that this one is enough. And, bump, there we go. We'll turn that one off for now. There we are, that should be enough at this point. Right, this room is getting reasonably big. I am very glad to see that. So, we're going to want some more of these along these walls. And these will basically store any weapons that we might have available to uh, pop in there. Uh, we want the power connected all the way around and up. And this actually to be reinstalled over on that side. Um, we'll have another light built down there. And then two more freezers. But that'll come in time because right, right now we haven't actually stored that much. But eventually we want quite a lot of simple food in here. Because it makes for a great source of, of money. Um, also, I do want one extra light in here as well. Let's go ahead and uh, pop that light in there. Just, just a bit, I think. will be good. At that point, I would like these deconstructed. And uh, that power plant to it also deconstructed. There we go. That'll actually look quite nice, I think. Right. Still quite cold outside, but we've got uh, some meals starting to be prepared now, so that's good. Uh, we can now look to set up the generator, and this is uh, kind of an important one now. So, in terms of power, for our geotherm, where is it? Uh, we want up to these. Let's go with floors. It can just be regular concrete. It's not an issue. So, one, two, one, two, so five. There we are. And that'll give us a little generator room. Then we can have a two um, thick wall going around it. We can leave that there. It's fine. Um, yeah, this should be perfectly fine, I think. Uh, so we want structures, double thick wall. Uh, in fact, we'll have the entryway over here, I'm going to say. I think that makes a lot of sense. And then bring that down on either side. And then finally, we do want some more concrete on the outside as well. There we go. And that should be good. Okay. Once all of that is set up, then we'll... Ooh. That being said, it's going to be a little bit awkward, actually. Because we need the power conduit to cross. They may cut that. And if they do, it's going to be hard for me to notice it. Hmm. I'm not super stoked about that one, I'll be honest with you. 
Uh, that being said, we're gonna have to do it, so let's run it through there. I'm just gonna have to remember to check that whenever I can. Uh, additionally, I would actually like this door to be a little bit taller up. There we are, and then we'll run this across. Like so. There we go. Yeah, that should be good enough. Uh, actually, on that note, I really should enhance this a little bit more. Like that. Just to make sure that we don't have any problems with future fires. And concrete that way. There we go. Uh, what we're going to want then is outside we want a slate block door. And on the inside we can go with a wood door, that's fine. Basically a little airlock though. There we go. No food, animal starvation, no. Oh no. Of course, these aren't growing particularly well. I mean, the volcanic winter is still here, but it's starting to get warmer now. So things are starting to grow again, but we need food. Damn and blast! Uh, okay, well... Given that, then I'm going to do something that I wouldn't otherwise, but I'm going to allow livestock to have access to our food and everything up here as well so that they can actually go out and get themselves noms there you go get out there you can eat our food it's fine you're at least as important as us there we are so we should be away from animal starvation now <laughs> wow <laughs> they have destroyed it all <laughs> Oh, my medical plants, they were so almost grown. So almost grown. That's fine. That should be enough to stave off the worst of it. And as these get uh, grow up a little bit more, then I'll be able to grab those too. Uh, okay, uh, Wendy though. Is Wendy okay for food? Wendy should be okay for food, I think. Uh, we do need to chop down some more wood though. So let's get that going. Additionally, we need to remove the roof just over the geotherm. These four tiles need to be gone. Now, the thing is that, that quite a few people have said that if a geotherm has a roof over the top, it can explode. The pressure builds up and eventually it just detonates. Uh, the other thing that I forgot to do in the last episode is actually ask if anyone uh, wanted the name of McFly. I figured that I would actually just ask that specifically, so if you post in the comments down below that you would like the name, then I will uh, gather all of those uh, requests into a single file, and then I'll use a random number generator to pick the winner. But we're going to need to wait for that to be done first before I place the... Geotherm down. There we go. Perfect. Right, so Geotherm, time for you to live right there. We'll also have a light in here, I guess. Uh, that won't be a problem, especially considering the lights no longer use a uh, ridiculous amount of power to run. So there we go. Uh, that should bring us in a little bit of extra power and keep the lights on for us. Uh, I could turn these on for now, but we'll see if we can get the Geotherm. No, we can't. <laughs> We absolutely cannot, so, okay. Get those running. Click them back on, and the lights immediately come back on. Murderous is pregnant again! Hooray! And we're being sieged. A group of pirates from the Loyal Vipers have arrived nearby. Looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. You can wait them out, or go get them. Well, obviously, we're going to go get them. There's still this mortar that I need to deal with as well. We need to bring in all of those bits and bobs. All right, well, we will deal with that siege in the next episode. I do hope you have enjoyed this one, though. It will be joining me for the next. We've made some reasonable progress. We are soon to begin work on converting the prosthetic arms that we have into bionic arms. And at that point, Dark Avak is going to get a full set of uh, a new spine and two new arms. Eventually, we'll go for legs as well, though I'll probably spread that out a little bit what depending on how many people we've got who are prostophiles i'll give them each one bionic body part before moving forward um so i know that miss mini um is a prostophile 
So she's going to get a bionic arm first. Uh, is there anyone else? Uh, you're a prostophobe, so absolutely not for you. Uh, no, absolutely not for Lisa as well. Uh, let's see. It looks like... Uh, yeah, actually, it's just going to be Miss Mini and Dark Havoc who are going to get the, the bulk of the bionics to start with. Ah, oh, that's probably what brought them together. Their mutual love of not being in the bodies that they were born with. But that is it from me. So as ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.